Hey guys, what's up? It's Queen here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. I'm starting this video off looking a little crazy, but you know, it is what it is. I'm going to be styling my hair today. Um, I'm going to be trying out a curly U-part wig. I have not tried something like this before, but hopefully it works out. <laughs> this is kind of another one of those. Let's figure it out together. Um, I want to wear my hair curly. I don't want to do a wash and go. I don't want to do my entire head of hair so I feel like having a curly U part will help me so much and I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to do a quick twist out braid out type of situation without having to you know do the whole overnight situation we're trying to look cute by this evening so let's try the unit that I'm gonna be using today is from curls curls I did use them a few times in the past I've never tried their U part wig so let's see how it goes um, details of this unit it is a natural curly texture 16 inches um yeah so i didn't want to get too long because i want it to match my natural hair i want it to look like it's actually my hair so that's why we went with 16 inches and 16 inches like stretched out in a braid out is like more than enough hair so this is what it looks like um it's in a 1b color so it's gonna match my hair thankfully um and yeah this is the overall look of it let's take a look at these curls yes it's got some clips on the inside like actual clips not combs and then some combs on the side and then an elastic um band at the back so i'm just going to cut this little divider and put this in my hair the nice thing I'm already noticing is that the part for the U or like the U part is very small so you don't need too much leave out or you can you know kind of open it and add more leave out if you want but you're not forced to do a huge chunk of leave out because this is so tiny so that's really great um, okay let's take out my hair and see what we're working with my hair was washed a few days ago and I stretched it with my blow dryer and then I've just been you know styling it through the week but yeah this is what we're working with we don't need all of this but this is what we're working with okay so I'm going to cut the uh, what's it called the mesh out of the middle and then we're gonna start working with it and I'm gonna explain to you guys how I'm gonna make this work so quickly without doing a whole wash and go without sleeping on it overnight and all of that we're gonna we're gonna make it happen it's gonna look good trust me all right so this is what we're working with of course the first thing we're going to do is section off our leave out i decided to do a little bit more leave out than usual this time because i feel like it helps with the blending process when it's curly because then you see more of your own hair as opposed to the wig i don't know but of course if you also do a little bit of leave out then you barely see any difference either so it's just preference i just wanted to do it this way um, this time so of course I'm just brushing back my hair into a ponytail making sure it's nice and smooth and detangled and then I'm gonna tie it and then to make it even more sleek I'm gonna braid it into a nice little braid so then that can be tucked really flat underneath the U part Okay, so now that the rest of our hair is going to be nice and protected, let's work on the leave out. So, of course, when it comes to leave out, you want to make sure that your hair is moisturized and, you know, all of that good stuff clean. So then you're not leaving out hair that's like already tired. My hair is honestly tired, but <laughs> I try to moisturize as much as possible and make sure it's ready for this style. Um, at least we're not straightening it. So as what you guys are seeing is me brushing out the U part. I'm brushing it out so much to the point where it goes from curly to like afro texture. You want it to be fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. We do not need the curls for this style specifically. We're not going for a wash and go, we're going for a braid out. So we need it to look like afro, afro hair. The curls will come in handy a little bit later because it will give us some definition. But right now, I just fluff it out as much as I can and then clip it into my head. And we are going to make our own new pattern with some braids. Again, if your curls match the wig, you can do a wash and go and that's no problem. But I personally want my hair to be dry. I don't want to do wash and go. I want it to be nice and stretched. So we're going to brush it out 
fluff it out and do some braids and make it a little braid out so that's the nice thing about this because it is a curly unit but it's also very versatile and you can make it more of like a stretched afro situation so i'm just taking out my leave out and then you guys can see my leave out is obviously way straighter than the um, curls but once we braid it it'll kind of mesh and turn into one pattern all together so the first thing I'm gonna do is separate this hair into a few chunks we want to focus all our leave out um, in one small piece so I'm taking my leave out splitting it into two of course it's parted down the middle and then um, I'm taking a little bit of the U part hair on the bottom and that's what we're going to braid all together and create a pattern for the front pieces you want the braids to be kind of small so just section that off and tie everything away so we can focus on that first so for these pieces and for this braid out i'm going to be using the as i am twist defining cream this is like a moisturizing jelly has a bit of hold kind of cream it's super hydrating but it keeps the shape when you braid it so that is what you need you need a product that's going to have a little bit of hold in it a little bit of gel but it will moisturize your hair but also won't make it soaking wet we don't have time for soaking wet today <laughs> we're doing a very quick style kind of you know clip it in and go type of style with a braid out i know crazy um, so of course, then now I'm going to, you know, spread the product, make sure it's nice and detangled and do a really, really, really tight braid. And I'm saying this specifically because again, we don't have much time for the style to set. This is something you can do within a few hours, do a nice tight braid, make sure, um, it's detangled well. So when you take it out, it doesn't frizz up and then that's basically it. So we need a nice twisting cream, a good detangling brush and some strong fingers to tighten those braids basically. And then of course you do the same thing on the other side, make sure your hair is nice and moisturized and saturated with the product. But again, we don't want our hair to be soaking wet because we do not have time today. And then yes, we do the same thing to the rest of our hair. We're looking cute, we're looking good. Um, so far, so good. So yeah, same process with the rest of the hair even though um, my hair is not involved. You wanna do the same thing. You want a little bit of hold, you want to fluff it out, you want to detangle it, you want to treat it the exact same way you treat your own hair so then it'll match. We want it all to match everywhere. We're not going to leave the back curly and then have, you know, braid out waves in the front. So we're going to do the exact same thing. Product, detangle, and tight, tight, tight braids. And then we're good to go. Yes, look at this. Look at, look at this little style. We look like, um, is this Susie from Rugrats? You guys know who I'm talking about. So this is the next really important step, the drying process. There's a few options here. As you guys can see, I have the Rev Air blow dryer, the reverse blow dryer, and it's a suction fast drying blow dryer. You don't need this. I didn't have this forever. You can take a hand dryer and blow hot air onto your braids for as long as you need to, to dry, it, to dry out the braids and to set it a little bit. Besides that, you can use a hooded dryer. I also do that, sit under it for like 20 minutes. You're good to go. Or if you want, you know, just sit around for a few hours and then take it out and blow dry it or just sleep on it. There's so many options. You don't need this device. You don't need this dryer, but um, this is how I chose to do it and it gave me very quick results. After some time of drying it, I can finally take out these braids. Honestly, they were not a thousand percent dry. Like they could, they could have been a little bit more dry, but as soon as I started taking it out and I saw the definition, I was like, this is good enough. I do not need it to be more defined than this. I want it to look still more Afro-ish than super defined. So this is actually <laughs> much better than I expected when it came to the definition. So this was very successful. We stretched it out, we used a nice holding um, product, and then we dried it very well, or as well as we had time for. And then we took it out guys look at these waves look at this it completely changed the texture the texture was this very uniform curl and now we have this very natural girl i just woke up took my braids out and fluffed it out type of look which is exactly what we want this is how we make it the most natural looking no one's gonna look at this and be like is that a wig or no one's gonna think it's gonna it's a wig right away they're gonna think it's natural because it's not so uniformed natural hair is inconsistent it's not uniformed and that's what we're recreating so look at these waves guys like my hair of course is straighter at the roots because i didn't braid it all the way up there but um you know that's something to fix for next time but look at the texture oh my gosh yes I was so, so, so happy because 
blending my hair with curly um, units is always very difficult unless I do a wash and go and I really use a lot of product but this was so easy I use minimal product minimal time and my hair is dry so I don't have to wait around for it to you know do anything else Okay, so I must say we made it happen, as usual. This looks so good. This is my first time I have ever tried to do this because I always have an issue with curly U parts because blending it was just so difficult for me. So now I know, now I know, we just gotta fluff it out, make it that afro look so then it matches my hair that doesn't always have, you know, the perfect definition. And then we make our own pattern, which is, you know through braids and some products and we create this texture on our own so this is perfect i am so happy with how it turned out i feel like um i can even stretch out this hair even more if i want but like i really like how it has some slight curl but it's very stretched like my hair like you see my hair in the front has a little bit of curl a little bit of fluff a little bit of curl a little bit of fluff of course next time maybe i can get closer to the roots but i was just scared of making it too tight and too like perfect looking but this this looks amazing i just wanted to show how easy it was to work with this because one it is one piece it's a u part it's not clip-ins you don't have to like you know place it in the right position it's just one big piece you can braid it however you guys saw it. there was no special parting there was no special anything i literally just put some braids in it to stretch it out give it a new pattern i fluffed it out already and then let it sit with some product and the product is key i used a twist defining cream so it's like something that's moisturizing but also has a little bit of hold to it that's what you need if you use oils and butters it's not going to give you this quick result because what i use had a little bit of stickiness it has a little bit of gel in it so you could do like a light gel and like a moisturizer or something but just make sure you use some sort of butter that has a bit of like a hold to it because that's what made my styling so fast this is good for the day okay this is so good for the day if anything next time i will definitely let it sit even more if i have time but we don't today so this was perfect and i'm glad that we were able to achieve this look in such a short amount of time so now i'm gonna go get ready and enjoy this look so take some pictures and then we're good to go so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i will leave all the details to this unit down in the description box so you guys can check it out because this is impressive <laughs> this is really impressive for a curly u part that um i was a little skeptical about i didn't think that it was going to blend well with my hair so i'm really happy it did and it looks much better than i even imagined let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i will have all the details in the description box um thumbs up this video subscribe if you haven't already and yeah this is the look of the week this is the look of the week <laughs> i will see you guys in the next one bye